Harvey Weinstein cuts a very different figure these days from the man who once bestrode Hollywood. <laughs> Arriving with the aid of a walking frame for a trial on charges of rape and sexual assault. If convicted, he could be jailed for life. Outside court, some of the dozens of women who've made allegations against him, here to show their support for the victims in court. They are going to be so traumatized by going through this trial. And I can't even imagine. I never got that day in court. Maybe I was lucky. But I hope to God they prevail, and I hope justice is served. When I got here this morning, I felt more settled. And when he walked out of the car, and we were able to stand there in our strength and just look at him and see that he couldn't even bear to make eye contact with us, it was a really powerful moment. It, it made it very clear that we hold the power here. We hold the strength here, and he really can't hurt us anymore. Harvey Weinstein is facing charges relating to two women, but some of the others who've made allegations against him will also give evidence to this trial to show what prosecutors say is a pattern of behavior in support of the most serious charge against him, that of predatory sexual assault. Weinstein was once a fixture on the red carpets, a celebrated producer, an Oscar winner who could make careers in the movie business. Then came the allegations that revealed a dark side to the glamour. It gave rise to the Me Too and Time's Up campaigns. On the red carpets, stars dressed in black as a show of support for victims in this industry and beyond. In public, at least, Weinstein's ignored questions about the allegations against him. Do you believe all of those women are lying? Do you believe they're lying, sir? But others have been more vocal. Nobody's going to say anything. Nobody's really going to say anything. His appearance in the audience at an event for young actors in October, prompting this reaction from some of those there. Harvey Weinstein has pleaded not guilty to the charges he faces. He recently said he should be remembered for helping female actors and directors, not for the allegations against him. His accusers said he should be remembered as a man who took everything and deserved nothing. It will be a jury that decides Harvey Weinstein's fate. Greg Milam, Sky News, New York. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to the channel. I invite you to subscribe and comment in the section below. If you are a subscriber, hit the alert bell so that you can be reminded or alerted when my videos come up. Um, I come to you guys with an article from ABC News via abcnewsgo.com. Um, Harvey Weinstein charged with rape other sex crimes la district attorney says he faces up to 28 years in prison it's an article by aaron katursky and karma allen so i guess his trial started today in new york harry weinstein has been charged with raping one woman and sexually assaulting another in separate incidents over a two-day period in 2013 los angeles district attorney Jackie Lacey announced Monday the disgraced movie mogul was charged with one felony count each of forcible rape forcible oral copulation sexual penetration by use of force and sexual battery by restraint we believe that the evidence will show that the defendant used his power and influence to gain access to his victims and then commit violent crimes against them District Attorney Lacey said, I want to commend the victims who come forward and bravely recount what happened to them. It is my hope that all victims of sexual violence find strength and healing as they move forward. On February 13th, on February the 18th, 2013, Weinstein allegedly went to a hotel room and raped a woman after forcing his way into her room. He is also accused of sexually assaulting a woman at a Beverly Hills hotel the next evening. Neither woman has spoken out publicly about the allegations, but one of them is scheduled to testify in Weinstein's criminal trial in New York, which began Monday. In all, in all, eight women came forward in Los Angeles County with sexual assault allegations against Weinstein, although three of them uh, um, although three of the allegations took place outside of the statute of limitations, the office is still investigating the remaining allegations and warned that more charges could follow. Um, we continue to investigate allegations involving three other women to determine if additional charges will be filed. 
Lacey told reporters Monday. However, I want to commend the victims who come forward and bravely recounted what happened to them. Okay. And it seems that there's a group called Silence Breakers who is working in tandem with the Me Too movement and something called Time's Up. And it seems that these women have stayed, you know, vigilant and kept their necks, if you want to, kept their foot on the necks of the prosecutors to go forward with the prosecution even after Weinstein earlier last year um, settled for like $42 million, okay? And, and from what I understand, I don't think he had to pay any of that money. So I commend the LA prosecutor's office for going forward with this. Um, prosecutors are recommending bail be set at $5 million. If convicted, Weinstein faces up to 28 years in prison. Los Angeles Deputy District Attorney Paul Thompson of the Sex Crimes Division is prosecuting the case, which remains under investigation by the Los Angeles and Beverly Hills Police Departments and the District Attorney's Bureau of Investigation. As Weinstein's trial got underway, a group of his alleged victims, among them actress Rosanna Arquette and Rose McGowan, spoke out against him. So, you know, it's it's a big it's a big story, man. It's, and it's a big step for women who are survivors and victims of sexual assault in the workplace and at home. And, you know, the chauvinistic, misogynistic, you know, patriarchy that, that runs Hollywood. I mean, it's kind of crazy to say it that way, but this is actually true. And it's kind of always been like a mainstay in, in the film industry that there is something called the casting couch. And that, that weirdo, you know, sex party situation that took place in the 70s, all of that has been culminating into what happened today. Okay, where women had to hit the casting couch. Now, if you want to speak in roles, so to speak, and you want to be more than an extra, you had to, you know, have you had to have a, a private consultation. I mean, there's so many videos on YouTube of girls. I really wish I could have found it, but this, you know, the video that I saw. I saw it a long time before I became a YouTuber. And um, it was a video of a black girl, kind of biracial looking. And she was telling a story that you can make more money in Hollywood just having sex, like a prostitute, as opposed to making, you know, shitty money as, a, as an actor. Because, you know, the actor, you're on the set for 12 hours straight. But once an, uh, a producer kind of has the eye for you, you can almost parlay his attraction to you into like a, a pay for play uh, quid per quote, you know, situation where, um, you know, you want to roll, but you prefer the money as opposed to the role. The role don't really, don't really pay anything. And she was telling the story that one, that one of her roommates who was kind of attractive, underage, by maybe 17 ish, was just going to all these different, you know, um, different little auditions just so she can, you know, get seen. And when certain people will give her a certain look, she can tell that they were attracted to her and she would just say, well, let's just work, work something out. And she spent most of her days just having sex and going to auditions all day. And so it's, it's one of them situations where most of the girls did it knowingly and willingly. And unfortunately for those who actually had a love for the craft were victims of, of this man's advances. So there was also a tape that came out a couple of months back, maybe September-ish, where a girl wore a wiretap with the um, the New York Police Department, and she actually wore a wire in the hotel room while Weinstein was trying to have sex with her, and she was telling the guy no. So you know, it's just I'm just happy that this is this that that this came to fruition because my you know my hat is off to the silence breakers because unfortunately there are some guys who do get false allegations against them and lose their job, lose their career. But this man has a history. When you have 90, literal 90, 90 women accusing you, saying the exact same thing. I even think Sama Hayek had a complaint and she come from money. So it's one of them situations where, you know, this is going to be the first time where we get to see 
what direction the trial is going to go in when the accuser is a white man of power because you had something going with Jeffrey Epstein but unfortunately he was killed or well, let me rephrase he committed suicide but with Weinstein you have a guy that's in Hollywood and I'm sure everybody is shaking in their boots because Weinstein could be a potential Epstein 2.0 if he wants to go free or cut some kind of deal because he's actually in poor health Weinstein I mean so I don't think he wants wants to die in jail so truth be told Weinstein may meet the same demise you know Epstein and commit suicide wink wink so to speak so I'm going to put the link to that article in the description would say you hit like share and subscribe guys holla back